real, real and get real. Can you handle the truth? Be real and get real. Can you handle the truth? Be real and get real. Can you handle the truth? Be real. Get real. Can you handle the truth? Be real. Get real. Can you handle the truth? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everyone. Happy New Year to you on today. God bless you, and I pray that your interest into this new year has been a great one. Listen, God have great things in store for you on today. Listen, on this week and even in this very month, I know most of your, your focus is on, amen, making new resolutions and, you know, getting into the spirit of a fresh start. And I congratulate you on that effort, amen. It's time to have a new mindset. Somebody ought to take a minute, amen, and say, Lord, renew my mind. Hallelujah. Listen, God wants to do for you that that you expect expect him to do. Listen, the people that get the things from God are the people who are expecting God to do it. Am I talking to someone who's expecting something on today? Listen, I know that God has a blessing in store for you, but first you must keep what's first first. Hallelujah. Listen, what are you talking about, woman of God? I'm talking about in the beginning, God. Yes, listen, when we first opened the book, Genesis 1 and 1, from the very start, we had God introduced to us in our lives. And I thank God for God on today. I like to always use this phrase like this. I thank God that men are not God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I serve a loving God. I serve a first forgiving God. I serve a God who always gives me a chance to start again. Are you in your fresh start on today? Are you beginning again? Listen, in this new year, 2019, we thank God, amen, for a fresh start. Listen, you said last week, just a week ago, You'd be so glad when this thing is over. Well, I'm here to tell you in the name of Jesus that that year is over with, is done with. We're not going to look back into the past, but we're looking toward the things of the future. We're looking toward a man, a fresh start, a new beginning, if you will. Hallelujah. If somebody take a minute and say, Lord, I thank you for the do-over. Hallelujah. Listen, if God is giving you breath in your body, then this is time to take that opportunity and to use it the way that God wants you to use it. I don't care if you messed up last year. I don't care, amen, if people, you know, say that you offended them. Listen, as long as you got it right, amen. Listen, some people will never forgive you. Don't worry about that. Hallelujah. Listen, you have to allow yourself to be forgiven and then you have to forgive of others and then you have to move forward in your life amen listen whatever it was let it be amen and now that that is is a present and a gift from God live in the now and let's focus on our destiny let's focus on our future let's focus on the things to be hallelujah in the name of Jesus today I want to just simply give you an encouraging word amen listen just to encourage you on the fact of keeping things first. Again, in the beginning, God. So let's keep God at the very beginning. And all that we do, amen, even, you know, growing up, your parents would teach you before you eat, you must pray. You must say your grace. You must keep things first. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. If you get your Bibles and turn with me, we're going to go to the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. Chapter 6, in verse 33, and we're going to talk about seeking the kingdom of God first. There are some things that you have to do in sequence, and when you do them out of order, then you will find that you don't have the great result that you were looking for. But when you put things in a proper order, yes, that's what first really means. It means coming before all others in a time or a certain order or a ranking 
of importance. This is what first simply means. Some things you have to put first. Amen. Don't mean that I'm not going to do all the other things. It doesn't mean that God is not going to release the promises that he has promised you into this new year. Yes, he's going to do those things, but some things he said you must do first. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So putting what's first and keeping what's first is most important. You have your Bibles yet? We're going to be reading from Matthew 6. Amen. And I'm just going to start at the 31st verse, ending at the 33rd verse, saying, Therefore, take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all of these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Listen, I thank God for this word on today. This word have brought me through so many hard places. It brought me through so many hard times. Amen. When I began to over process and, and and I am one I am a thinker I'm a planner amen and if you like me when you plan things out you you have a vision of what it should be or what it should look like what the end results is going to be but sometimes throughout the process of getting to the perfect ending hallelujah amen you have trouble along the way sometimes confusion come in sometimes this thing just don't look like what God said but that's the time when you have to refer back to the seeking of God. That's the time you have to go back to your blueprint. That's the time you have to go back to the very beginning. Listen, if you keep the first thing first, then you will always have the blueprint of what it should look like. Growing up, I, I used to work puzzles all the time. Amen. And so I'm a thinker by nature. Amen. I'm a person who when you put them in the room, I can figure out a path pattern. My mind works where I have to see things come together, even in the midst of chaos, even in an abandoned building, even if the building is broke down, even if the person is a drunk right now, amen, that person might be a crackhead, but God will show me, amen, what it should be. God will show me what this person looks like through his eyes from the very beginning. You know the word of God that spoke over us, amen, the prophetic word that said, I knew you before before you was even in your mother's womb. I'm talking about that picture. That's what God shows me about that person. So I don't deal with that person like they are drunk. I don't deal with that person like they're some type of addict. I deal with them as the man of God that God is showing me that they are. I deal with them from the first picture that God has shown me about that woman of God. Amen. She might be doing something right now. Hallelujah. Because maybe you didn't see the beginning picture. <laughs> you didn't see amen what the end result was going to be about that child but all you see is the negative amen but listen before the picture amen comes all the way through we deal with the negative the black and white if you will but I'm here to tell you we have advanced technology now when you take a picture you can see that picture instantly you can see what the viewer see you can see even that that comes into focus with it really looks like. I'm here to tell you this is a year that we're going to come into focus and we're going to keep first things first. In the beginning, God. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. I know what you need. I know what you stand in need of. I know the contract didn't come through. Maybe the person pulled out. Listen, God didn't lie. The prophet didn't lie. Sometimes people just simply change their mind. But if you stick with God, hallelujah, if you keep seeking God, I'm here to tell you that there's a blessing in the seeking. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Listen, coming alone, amen, through my marriage, sometimes things will happen, and my husband will say, you know, baby, you know, sometimes you irritate me, you know, with always, you know, having the right answer, you, you know, you just, you know how, you know, I know you're a prophet, that's what he'll tell me, he said, I've seen God use you through, through miracles and things like that, he said, but you know, sometimes, you know, you, you just, I don't know how you do it, you know, you just always, you know, have the answer, and I started laughing, I said, it's not because I'm perfect by no means, amen, listen, I said, but you have to learn something that I had to learn, and I learned this by having 
a disciplined life. I've learned that I don't have the answer. But why not go to he who does? Amen. Listen, when people begin to ask me questions, they'll say things like, Dr. Finley, can I ask you a quick question? Well, with my physical ear, my natural ear, I'm listening to their question. But with my spiritual ear, my prophetic ear, I'm seeking God for his answer. Oh, come on now. Let's put that all together. I'm saying whenever somebody asks me a quick question, I begin to seek God for a quick answer. Why? Because I don't want to give them my advice. I don't have no opinion that, that's going to fit their situation. Hallelujah. Some people are older. Some people are younger. Amen. And whatever answer I give, I can only give through my own limited experience. But why not seek he who knows everything? He who knows all. He who sees all, he who can do all, hallelujah, and who can answer all. So while they're asking me questions, I seek the Lord, hallelujah. This is what God promised me. This is why this works every single time. This is why my husband say, how do you do it? I'm here to tell the secret how I do it, and you too can do it this way, amen. He said, if you seek me you will find me. He said, and I am a rewarder of them who diligently seek me. Listen, if you seek God, God will answer you. Hallelujah. It's not magic in the name of Jesus. It's obedience. It's, it's, it's standing in a right standing with God. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. If I could just get into right standing with God, how do I get back into right standing, woman of God? You have to seek him. Hallelujah. The blessing is in the seeking. See, a lot of times we put too much focus on the end results. My end results depend on my relationship with God. He who puts me in order. Amen. He who ranks me. He who is, amen, the one, amen, from the very beginning of my life to he will also be the judge at the end of my life. You have to understand no matter what you do, you cannot go around he who is and who always is. The Bible say he is he who was, who is and is to come. Aren't you excited about the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? Listen, God is forever present. He's omnipresent. So he's our first and he's our last. Amen. That's why in the beginning, God, that's what we read through the first introduction. Listen, it wasn't God's beginning. This is our beginning. When we first began, there was God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, God has no beginning. He has no end. He has no equal. He has no opposite. Stop saying that the devil is the opposite of God. The devil, hallelujah, amen, Lucifer was an angel that was created by God. So the creation could never be equal to the creator. Come on now, wake up today in the name of Jesus and understand what's first. When you begin to put what's first and keep what's first, then you will always have the kingdom at your reach. Amen. Amen. You hear that verse in, inside of you. Amen. And sometimes it's not a small voice, you know. That's why I, I, don't, I don't like to just say, you know, you have that still small voice inside of you. No. Sometimes God say, don't do that. And then you go on and you do it anyway. And then things don't turn out the way that you planned for them to turn out. And now you're sitting there looking like boo-boo the fool. you confused. And then you're sitting there going, you know what? I should have followed my first mind. <laughs> if you had a dime for every time you said that line, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And what was that first mind? That was God directing you. But now, you you know, you kind of messed up the plan, so now you have to get redirected. What do God redirect us back to? Always back to the first. Hallelujah. He says in his word, he said, it's sometimes you got to come back <laughs> to your first love. Amen. Amen. The thing that you loved about God, you know, I'm, I'm talking now to the leaders, amen, where we've been doing this thing for a long time, and then you start feeling burnout, you know, or or you just start feeling used. No longer do you feel utilized, amen, but now you just feel people using you for your gift. You know, a, a, a woman of God, you know, we want you to come over here. We want you to do this. We want you to say this. We want you to prophesy. You know, we just want you to do, 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 do. 
do, do, and you just start feeling used, and no longer do you feel utilized, amen, and this is when God said, you got to come back, <laughs> you got to get a fresh start again, you got to get a refreshing, listen, most leaders, I, I like to look into us as pitchers, we're constantly pouring out, pouring out, pouring out, but even a pitcher needs to be filled in the name of Jesus, listen, how can you pour into the cups if they're empty on the inside of the pitcher, listen, I'm here to tell you that this is the time to get refilled, this is the time to be refueled. This is the time to do it again. I love the song. Hallelujah. Let's do it again. I know, don't judge me on it, but I'm here to tell you there's prophetic utterance in that song. There's prophetic utterance in the title, Let's Do It Again. Why? Because so many people give up, amen, when they do something and then it doesn't turn out right. So they give up. They walk away. Sometimes millions of dollars was put into this project. See, I'm not always talking about just you. But see, if you ever led people and you led them astray, you led them wrong, this is where Paul found himself. Paul was fighting, thinking he was doing the work of the Lord. He thought he was doing what was right. And he had many people following him. Hallelujah. No, no, no. This wasn't just one brother going around killing Christians. No, he had many people following him. He had many people who understood his teachings. Yes, yes, yes. And and here he is doing what he thought was right, but God had to give him a new understanding. Hallelujah. Listen, Paul had to come into the light. Are you ready to come into the light? Come on, Caroline. Come on into the light. Walk therein in the name of Jesus so the light can broaden your way so that you can really see what God has for you. Some of us have been living in a dim situation. Amen. It's not always darkness. Sometimes the light is just dim. It's turned down too low where you really can't see yourself. Amen. You know, I, I love the fact, amen, you know, my friend, and he used to always say this. He said, you know what? When I do things, I turn on the light. Mm -hmm. He said, I like the light to be on. Why? So I can see what I'm doing. So I, I can see. Some, sometimes you got to just turn on the light. You know, too many times people, especially men, you know, they like ambiance. They, they, you know, they got the light down low, you know, but what you doing? <laughs> Hallelujah. Turn this light on so you can see what you're doing. Doing. And this year, turn the light up. Amen. It's time to, I think the young people talk about getting lit, going to a, another level or some type of high in the natural. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, it's time to light up for Jesus Christ. Amen. It's time to, amen, make things a little bit lighter for somebody else. It may be it's time for you talking about light to lift the burden off of somebody else. People have carried you over time. People have looked out for you, but maybe then this year, it's time for you to look out for somebody else. Maybe it's time for you to lighten the load, take the burden. Amen. Whatever God is calling you to, you need to ask God, God, how do you want to use me in this year? How do you want to utilize me this year? Lord, I am yours. I'm coming back. Hallelujah. To keeping things first. Listen, and when you keep God first, he promised you that he will add the things that you desire back into your hand. You got to know God has a blessing for you. You have to stay encouraged in this hour. This is the month. I know what most Christians think. But outside of your limited thinking, this is the month that most people get depressed super fast. I know what you're thinking. No, woman of God, we're new. We're coming into the fresh year. But I'm here to tell you, 10 days always going into the new year when people have not started yet they usually start getting depressed and they go right back into that mode. If they don't get it in them first, that first weekend, if they don't start yet, that's why I'm here to encourage you on this week. Amen. Help somebody, even if it's just yourself, help somebody start fresh again. Holly, some people just need a little push. Some people just need this word of encouragement to remind them of who they are and that they, they can do what God said that they can do. You just have to keep God first and all that you do. Listen, I told you when people ask me a simple question, I didn't say amen, a spiritual question. When they ask me anything, I seek first the wisdom of God before I open my natural mind. 
mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible declares once God spoke it, twice I heard it, and then I began to speak it. Listen, you have to hear from God first. Amen. And then you can move on into the things and the visions. Amen. The projects. Amen. The things that God has given you to do. Hallelujah. You say, well, woman of God, I can't do that because I need money. That's why you got to seek him. You say, I need a building, but seek ye first. Hallelujah. You say, but I have the people. I have the building. Now I need to know how to further the vision. I'm stuck in the middle of the vision that God's gave me. Go back to your first love. You got to keep seeking. Listen, it's not a one-time seeking thing. He said, but to those who diligently seek me, you know, continuously seek me hard. Amen. When you always seeking out the Father, the guarantee was that you will always find him. Amen. Listen, if God is always there when you seek him, that means I can talk to him. I can ask him what I will. Amen. I can ask him what for that that I need. God is waiting to release unto you in this year. Listen, <laughs> this is the year where things are coming together. This is the year where things will be manifesting. Listen, nine still represent birthing. Listen, we have to know that when things begin to come together from the beginning to the end, God has a purpose for you. It's time to keep what's first first. No matter how screwed up it has gotten, no matter how much it turned around in the latter part of last year, and you know we talked about the beginning and we talked about this, you have to start somewhere. And now it's time to manifest all the things that we began last year. It's time to see these things come to pass. You can't give up right here. Hallelujah. This is the time. This is the fresh start that we've been waiting for. Amen. So I'm here to tell you the first thing that you have to have is faith. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. You have to have faith. It says in the beginning, God. You have to first believe that God is. Hallelujah. Before he can bring anything to pass in your life, you have to first believe that he is. If I keep my ranking in order, if I keep God first, if I keep him the head of my life, amen, then the things that I go to do for him and do for others and do for myself, amen, those things will come to pass with great results. I don't know about you, but I don't like to lose. I like to be on the winning team. I'm very competitive when it comes to games and prizes. Projects. Amen. I like people on my team. Amen. Who have a winning attitude. I don't care if it's 10 to 1 and we have the number one. I'm here to tell you, I believe we can get nine more points before the game is over. Listen, any Finleys you ask, they'll tell you no matter what game we play, we win. Hallelujah. Listen, my family, we were out of town. Amen. Just long ago. And we tell them, look, this is how we do it in the D. We winners. Why? Because we come into it with a winning attitude. We never Never think we're going to lose. Why? Because I'm on the right team. I'm on the right side. I'm on the lower side. Whose side are you on today? You better get on the winning team because the game is about to begin. Hallelujah. Listen, we're about to start in the new project. We're about to get, amen, a new manifesto going on. I am looking for the heat seekers on today. Listen, there was a gun that they had out in this part of a kid's game, and it's called, amen, heat seekers. Sometimes you got to hook up with other people who's on fire for the Lord. You got to hook up with those. Even if you have gone a little bit cold, hook up with somebody who's on fire for God. Hook up with a heat seeker. One thing I love about the picture even alien amen the aliens come from outer space but they have a radar and they're able to find people by looking at the heat that comes from their bodies you look i'm here to tell you look, everything can be prophetic you can see god in everything if you just look for him he said if you seek me you will find me listen even when i go to movies i seek out the lord and i'm trying to tell you when you seek out those who you see heat coming from who you see fire on hallelujah who you see, even if you just see some little smoke, that means right over here, hallelujah. Listen, we over here on fire for God in the name of Jesus. So I'm encouraging you on today. Listen, while you beginning again, while you getting your fresh start on, while you are, amen, renewing vows on today, hallelujah, amen. Don't forget God, amen. Keep him first. Keep the first thing first. In the beginning, God. Listen, know that God wants to bless you. 
and God has released already the blessings in the earth. We just have to begin to network, get together with those, amen, who do see, amen. If you have gone through a problem with your eyes and you can't see right now, maybe you're confused, maybe the vision isn't clear right now, hook up with somebody who can see, but get on fire again. Listen, this is a God that we serve who allows us to start again. He don't kill us, amen, every time we make a mistake state, but he loves us. He allows us to renew ourselves through repentance. Have you repented yet? Listen, this is the day. This is the hour right now. Just lift up your hands and say, Lord, forgive me. I messed that up. Lord, forgive me. I didn't understand. Lord, give me another chance. And I'm here to tell you, God does forgive. And now I too can forgive myself so I can move forward with a fresh start. Listen, don't stop starting. <laughs> Listen, don't get stuck in the name of Jesus. If you got to start again, start again. Amen. Because if you keep seeking him, you will surely win in the name of Jesus. Listen, our Father God, he loves us, and he is the one who gives us a fresh start in the new beginning. Listen, even if your situation was bad, like those who were coming up out of Egypt, once he brought them out, they wasn't at the beginning of a new year, but this is what God said. He said, I'll declare this. When I bring you out, <laughs> I declare that now this is a new year. Listen, whenever God brings you out of a situation, you have a fresh start. You have a new beginning. Embrace it. Hallelujah. With a new attitude. Come on. If you didn't smile last year, let's smile some this year. Know that God has given you the victory in this year. Listen, do something great. Tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Get a fresh start going on. Amen. Listen, you might not have money to help everybody, but if you would just share the word of Jesus, if you would just share life with somebody, what is life? He said, my word is spirit and life. Listen, if you share this book, the good news, the gospel that Jesus saves, hallelujah, amen, that's giving somebody a fresh start on today. Do what God is calling you to do. Do what you know that they really need you to do, and that is to encourage them to get in church, amen, to get back into a good relationship with God. Give them a fresh start. Give somebody a word of encouragement. Give them this word. Keep the first things first. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I love you on today. We thank you for joining us. Amen. Here, H2O Ministry. Here's to Obey Global Alliance Ministry. And I am Dr. Arsenia Finley. Listen, I thank you for this opportunity. It is my pleasure to serve. Amen. With you. Amen. It is my pleasure to serve God. I love his people. And I'm here to tell you, no matter what, if you haven't heard it in this year, God loves you. In the name of Jesus, be blessed. Until next time. Be real and get healed. Can you handle the truth? Be real and get healed. Can you handle the truth? Be real. Get healed. Can you handle the truth? Be real. Get healed. Can you handle the truth? This is your girl Vicky Winans and you're watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you everything that happened to me that was good. God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. 
This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. <laughs>